What? Edgeworth? Did I stutter? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Never spends that much on our dates. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. You can order off a children's menu. <laughs> <laughs> Joy! Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels! Koku is here with Lemolian, Kidane, and Cody, and we are continuing Ace Attorney. What's up? <laughs> Take it away. Oh. <clears throat> oh wow. Show the photo to the court! Show us the enlargement! Oh my. Wait, wait, wait. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. <laughs> yes. Oh my. <laughs> Here it is. Ah, put that away. <laughs> Don't be jealous, cause just cause it's bigger than yours. It's so angry. <laughs> We still cannot see who's firing in this. It could be the defendant. Or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Happy now, Mr. Light. Um, there has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. And little good it has done any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. I suppose this means that the cross-examination... ...is over, obviously. Then I would like to close the cross-examination of Ms. Lotta Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this! There has to be a clue in this photo, somewhere! This is bad. Real bad. What should I do? Your Honor! There is something decidedly strange with this enlargement! But, but what might that be? It's a little smelly and crooked! Hey! Mr. Wright! You will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange and smelly and crooked? Y'all gonna okay. make me cry. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. Take that! The man in this photo has a hand. <laughs> Here, Your Honor, the the armed man. The shooter. 
I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, your honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's the... left hand does... Oh, so... No, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> this man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. Take that! The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However! The prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand! Ergo! The man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth! <sighs> now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You have given us definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? Lot of heart. Oh god, I should have chosen that. <laughs> the camera is also a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the sort of bullshit they would pull in this series. <laughs> uh, there is only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order. Order. So... You are saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Mm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. What? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. A meter? Th that's three feet! There's no way it could have been suicide! Order! Order! Mr. Von Karma, are you sure the of the accuracy of your data? Of course! I'd already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Hmm. I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. 
However, the prints on the gun reveal that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. That is all. The court is adjourned. December 26, 1.15pm, District Court Defendant's Lobby Number 2. Phew! That was a close one! Mm -hmm. Hey! Don't you have anything to say? No. I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but... What happened out there on that lake, anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who... The shooter was about a meter away, too. Gordy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't give me that look. Tentacle rises out of the waters with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. Mm -hmm. Look. I'm going to go check on Maya. Ooh. Right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Ellipses. <laughs> I don't get Tell. it. Tell. Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear you say that, Edgeworth. Jerk! <laughs> I requisitioned a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. Dun dun. To be continued. Next time on Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Earth cord on the holodeck. <laughs> December 26th, detention center, visitor room. Maya! Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey. Why'd you do that anyway? I... I don't know. I... I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, uh, okay. Gets kidnapped like five more times throughout the series. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not necessarily her not behaving. Fair. Well... <laughs> uh, have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as how this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Phew! Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? 
How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? A any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever be able to see my sister again. Eh, she's probably just got a packed schedule in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> I am calling the spirits. The spirits have put me on hold. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. December 26, Gord Lake, Public Beach. Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keonce. December 26, Gord Lake Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Detective Gumshoe! Hey, pal. The trial today, it, uh... Yes? D what about the trial? Ellipses. Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though, you did save Edgeworth, uh, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Er, uh, thanks. Uh, Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness?! Uh, oh, right, he, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. Not just one. <laughs> Do we really need a flashback to that? <laughs> Gee, Von Karma, how come the judge lets you have two witnesses? <laughs> Tomorrow ends a Gordy in like a big coat with a hat and dark <laughs> Yeah, no, I saw him. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering who that other witness was. Er, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Well, my people are out on the lake trying to catch him right now. <laughs> All right, I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. And him becoming a lawyer. And him being scared of earthquakes. And him being a fan of the samurai. Uh, of the steel samurai. <laughs> <laughs> it all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. He can see it in his eyes.
I wanted to, to uh, I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fey. Huh? She's not out on bail yet. That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Edgeworth. He was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know? I'm gonna head back to the station. I'll get that report on Maya and get her out of uh, get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh wait. Um, I was wondering how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Did I stutter? <laughs> Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Never spends that much on our dates. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. You can order off a children's menu. <laughs> <laughs> Joy! December 26th, Boat Rental Shop. Looks like the Boat Rental Shop is closed today, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we walked all this way and it's still closed! <laughs> so Could have taken a boat. <laughs> December 26th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were all like, okay, what did you do this time? Like, I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. What do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. <laughs> the real murderer. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good a bet as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm... You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. I meant, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, uh, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. Saturday in the park. December 26, Gord Lake Park entrance. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Lotta. Uh, quick, let's go. 
<laughs> Y'all really did it today. What did we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking and a little self-reflecting, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lada. So, you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? What did you think of the trial? <laughs> to be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry. I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory's a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure, the trial is only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to stardom. Alright, Lotta, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Lotta, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see... Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me saying nothing about it. W what information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Um... I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. <sighs> Ellipses. <laughs> what? Information don't go come cheap, my friend. Uh... Hey, I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what'll it be? We gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? It's time to play. Deal. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay. How much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Hmm. Huh? Uh, yeah. The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa Gordy! B but Gordy doesn't. I mean, Gordy might not exist. Uh, give me one second. <laughs> <clears throat> Gordy has come for her. <laughs> of course, I exist. <laughs> Gordy confirmed for Smash. <laughs> no, no, he's too big. <laughs> he could be like a special, though. He could be like Master Hand. Yeah. Yeah, or Ridley. <laughs> so weird that Phoenix and Meyer were in a fighting game. It really is. Just throwing papers. <laughs> and imaginary hands. <laughs> Point! <laughs> I mean, when the truth hits, it hits hard. True that. 
That's right. Yeah, because he had to collect evidence to do his, like, final special, right? <laughs> Sorry about yeah. that. That's okay. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh... I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? Y'all see something? Y'all come to me first, got it? Uh, okay. Right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy, I sure do. What about Edgeworth? Exactly, that's why we have to go after Gordy. <laughs> We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick, don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? And with that, we will wrap up this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye 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 bye. Bye. All right. Rub hard, soft. Yep, that's exactly how it works. Thank you, Calarian. I mean, we're both asexual, so we we weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've only read fanfic, and that's how it goes in fanfic. So. <laughs> you sound so upset. I am very sleepy. <laughs> mm. I feel you though. Like, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs>